Hi guys, today in this video we are going to look at the Lewis structure for Al2O3 which is also known as aluminum oxide. Now this compound is an ionic compound because it is made up of one metal which is aluminum and an oxide group which is non-metal. So um, unlike the compounds that have that are covalent or have the covalent bonds, uh, they share electrons and covalent bonds, right? Uh, if you look at some other compounds such as methane or for that uh, example the compound that, is, that are made up of two metals or two non-metals they share electrons but when it comes to a compound that is made up of one metal and one non-metal they have ionic bonds where non-metals take away the electrons from metal to complete their octates so there is no uh, sharing as such in this compounds because uh, metals donate their electrons to non-metals so the Lewis structure would be a bit different from what you have seen previously so to start with it I am going to place a two Al atoms over here. Now Al is a chemical symbol for aluminium and as we have two atoms over here I am going to place two uh, aluminium over here and three oxygen atoms over here. Now uh, aluminium belongs to group 13 or 3A which means it has three valence electrons in its outer shell. So I am going to place the three valence electrons around each aluminium atom and uh, oxygen atom has six valence electrons in its outer shell so I am going to place six uh, electrons over here. Now, uh, as I mentioned, metals will give away their electrons to the non-metals and hence all these electrons around aluminium will be shifted to uh, the oxygen atoms. So uh, each oxygen will take away two uh, valence electrons of aluminium, so two over here, two over here and two over here. Doing this, we complete the octets for oxygen atom and now aluminium does not have any electrons because it has transferred all of its electrons to the oxygen atom. Now. The tricky part over here is as the oxygen atoms are taking the electrons away we have to put uh, the charges and you know write it as an ion so now it is taking away two valence electron each right so it will acquire a negative uh, charge which is min which is minus two so put a bracket over here write the charge over here and repeat the same for all the three atoms of oxygen and now when you look at aluminium atom it is giving away three electrons so it will acquire positive charge so write positive charge over here so we have this now if you have to write the lowest structure for this you can write like this like al has a plus three charge and o has minus two charge you have to write the coefficients though as there are two aluminium atom write two over here and as there are three oxygen atoms write three over here now if you look at the net charge or the complete charges on this compound it will be zero because two into plus three is plus six and three into minus two is minus six so the net charge on this compound is zero and um, this is the lowest structure or this is how you write a lowest structure for al2o3 however you should remember that um, as it is an ionic compound this is just one unit and it uh, kind of repeats itself in the molecule or in the crystal it has a lattice structure and this is known as a motif where this unit is repeated all along the structure and it forms a complete crystal so this is just a uh, chemical like this is just a way to represent how the structure would look or how the electrons are shared or transferred this is just for the understanding part of it but in real these are this is just one unit and there are a couple of units in the crystal structure and for more such videos on Lewis structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching